Hey everyone, welcome back to Shenzhen Zen Jamaican Vibes. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're on the farm. Um, we're doing some cleaning up on the farm, but we'll also be doing some cooking, some real bush cooking on the farm today. This is my papaya. I got this papaya the other day from Farmer Jeremy while I was on his farm. And that is just something to munch on while we're on the farm. <laughs> until the real cooking is completed until the real food done all right so we bring our bucket of water there because the drum is actually all the way up to the top right there you can see the drum all the way up to the top we actually bring these fold-out chairs and these fold-out chairs i bought them when i was in the u.s paid only 12 dollar one i think it was 11.99 I want for the full out chairs and they are really strong because me sit down in them and nothing happen and if you know me I'm not a lightweight <laughs> so um yeah we're on the farm and hubby actually was helping me to chop up some wood just now but we are going to look some smaller pieces and some breche what we call breche I don't know if you know a breche you come from country you must know a breche anyway in a Jamaica as a matter of fact the smaller pieces where we are going to use to catch up the fire. Them here not look so small, but trust me, them not so big either. So we want these, plus we want some little brush, you know. Them little piece piece here. And we're just going to break them up and put them on top. Alright, because I'm recording because hubby went to get something. Um, Let me show you what we did recently on the farm. We did some planting. This is my jackfruit tree right here. We plant up this jackfruit tree. Yes. So soon we're gonna have a big old jackfruit tree where we can cook jackfruit, curry jackfruit, eat the jackfruit itself. We planted some banana trees going across. And if you notice, they're in a straight line because we actually draw a line upon these trees to get them equal and neat. Just like I wanted it. This is a coconut tree that we planted. See the line here what we use if you think a lie? This is the card we use to draw the line. And this is one of the stick. What is stick though? What is stick? Um, I can't even see the stick right now. Oh, see one of the stick here. No, this is not the one. What is stick? Like we took up this stick. But we had a stick here. That we used to draw the line to come across. Like when the, the brother done, he took up the stick. But we draw a line, come across, and then we planted. We also pl we planted some more banana trees here, right? Um, this section right here, we're going to clean it up some more and plant some string beans. My friend from Canada bring me some string bean seeds, but me not get them yet. But whenever I get the string bean seeds, we're gonna plant some string bean. Or some more brush it over here so we can carry to catch the fire. So let me see what I'll go on for the yam. If we have any yam down in here so we're ready. We can dig up. We can dig up as you know I have a potato farm as well. So I'm going to see if we can get some potato out of my farm. Alright. You see I'm look like a um, then bumpy um. It's a big bumpy bumpy yam. Farty, farty leg. It's a farty leg. Mm. Babe! You have to help me with that one here. Big! It all look like it's, it has start grow back. You ready long time. See it here. I'm videoing. I 
and this bush right here I can't believe some of video pass it it's called dog blood it's very good very good for women trying to conceive all kind of things dog blood good for so the yam was ready a long time so most of it started to grow back so I just cut a little piece oh I always wanted to ask this question is it true that in some parishes brescia is considered to be a roast breadfruit? Them call roast breadfruit brescia. Let me know in the comment section. That's what I heard. Yeah. Okay, we need some stone. while that's catching okay so first of all i have to tell you guys about this veggie slicer that i have here i bought this on sheen so for everybody who thought sheen was just about clothing can get cheap cheap clothes pan it yes you can get cheap clothes pan sheen but you can also get great household kitchen items bathroom items items for every area in the house by the way this video is not sponsored by sheen but this is definitely something that any housewife can use um as you can see it has a lot of different blades i think it's like one two three four five six seven eight. um this is not a blade eight nine ten i think it's ten blades right oh it's 14 pieces but i think it's ten blades this is the top this is what you use to clean it and there's some additional blades here right this is something that you use to like hold like um food like sweet potato or irish potato when you're gonna peel it right and um before this was on sale it was for 27 dollars and then i saw it for 17 dollars and i kept watching it until it came all the way down to three dollars and two cents and you best believe i got it so i got this for three dollars and two cents and sheen and it's better when you're shopping on Sheen to download the app because with the app you get a lot of discounts. I have some items that you wouldn't believe that I get for, for a dollar, dollar fifty, two dollars on Sheen, and it's worth it because it's like seven fifty for one pound. So all you have to do is be smart, try to buy items under fifty US where you don't have to pay customs duty, and try to buy lightweight items where you don't have to pay a lot for the weight, and you see, you'll see the worth. So this is something that we can use like when we're cutting up the onion so on and so forth all right yes yeah, so you heard it from shenzhen zen jamaican vibes i'm trying to get a look at deal with sheen so yeah <laughs> yeah all right so this this is what we are gonna cook today this is what we're gonna be cooking today good old salt fish and some green banana and some sweet potato sweet potato from the farm I don't want to dirty up my hand right now, so I'm just holding it with this plastic. And we have some tomatoes, sweet pepper, onion, pepper, all good stuff in there. Chocho from Jeremy Farm, right? Even time in there. Okay, so I'm going to now do my do. And as you can see, we don't have no fancy table. We're out here in the bush and the farm, and we're doing everything. Pan the grass here right all right so first we're gonna wash our um salvage some people like to soak it overnight or soak it well you can soak it in a but you have to know how if you deal with the salt fish you get off the salt so you have to wash out the salt out the salt fish first and foremost wash it off good once you wash it off good just give it a little five to ten minutes soak with some vinegar wash it off two time throw it in enough water and all salt gone Sometimes when we do it, me have to say, no man, this cannot be salt fish, how fresh it is. This should be fresh fish.
Bush life in Jamaica, bush cooking in the country. I sent Elizabeth with her. <laughs> Where it's St. Elizabeth, Jamaica. The best parish in Jamaica. Somewhere. Most food, food parish. Only for food, I hope I see it. So my hobby teach me something about onions. So when you cut it long way, it's less acidic. So from tell me that I've been cutting onions long way. No more wrong. See it there? Everything ready for the pot. Pot a boil. Water bubble. See how we skill. <laughs> Alright. We don't have any table but we find somewhere if we put salt fish, not true. Alright, so I wash it twice after I pour vinegar on it. We're soaking in the vinegar water and I wash it twice. And now we're gonna put it in the pot. Water hot. So we're gonna make the dumpling real quick. Cornmeal dumpling. So, this is our cornmeal dumpling, flour, cornmeal, and a little bit of salt. Sorry, hope you didn't realize that the video wasn't recording when I was pouring out all the ingredients. Right, so we don't want to make the flour too tight so that the dumpling them can't eat. So this is okay. We're gonna make them now and put them in the pot. Obviously, I'm going to put this dumpling in there. Alright. Dumpling number one. Azania and Hobby are the dumpling people. Azania is my daughter. I don't really like dumpling that much. You know, I will eat one or a half. <laughs> uh, I will eat the fried dumpling, but not such a fan of the boiled dumpling. I think the most boiled dumpling I ever ate in my life was in Ivan. Hurricane Ivan. During Hurricane Ivan. So this is um cornmeal dumpling. Cornmeal and flour dumpling. Next time we'll make a surprise dumpling. Different type of dumpling. Different type of ingredients. You make some small dumpling and then you have to make some manly dumpling. I'm sure that's some Marcus dumpling, no, no manly dumpling, some Marcus dumpling. <laughs> some Marcus dumpling. Because you don't have to have a dumpling too. I don't want to have a dumpling. No, no, no. Marcus dumpling. The big one here, I used to. Yes, what this papaya looks like. Ooh, look at the papaya. All right, we're gonna plant the papaya seed here. Only if I see this a plant. All right, I like this papaya. I got this papaya from Germany as well. 
Farmer Jeremy. Clean farm. Okay, so we're not gonna waste the papaya seed. Okay. So we see how they do it. Mm -mm -mm. Papaya sweet. Juicy. Right here, we're cutting up some plantains to fry. They are almost ripe. They're not fully ripe, but this is what we're gonna eat on the side today. So, so these are how the slices would turn out. This is my kitchen slicer. Yes, I leave the garlic for last because I want it to have a really garlic, I want the garlic to bring out the flavor at the end and it's the first thing that burns so I don't want to burn up garlic and everything else I eat the garlic. I'm going to bush with this so we have to take with hand, make fashion or turn fashion so we just going to mix up the coconut milk Mix up the powder with some water and we're gonna pour it into the pot. It's just because of time why I'm using the powder because I don't really work with the powder. Then I'm gonna grate my own coconut, dry coconut and make my own milk. But it's just what Now we're adding the salt fish. Oops, probably love the bone, so we leave a bone in there for him. Babe, scrape out this for me. So, guys, so food done cook, everything looking lovely. Salt fish run down, and what I did, I cut up some of the green banana in there in small slices, and then I have my yam, yellow yam out of my farm, my cornmeal dumpling fried plantain and of course the good old avocado and of course can't leave up my orange juice yeah take a sip first but wait a minute they have not to hug that gateway guys you're not gonna believe this but look there two pig two hog gateway in my farm i don't know how a pig i do from rasta farm how we have to be running out the pig out of the ground. That's what I tell you about. Animal ever mess with my garden. 
Over there saw some sweet potato but it kinda in a bush. But still, nevertheless, people them not control them animals. Yes, so everything looking airy, everything looking nice. Then and Azania just came from school. And Azania just come from school. <laughs> yeah. Ready for the taste test. You hungry? You hungry, Zen? Well, not really. Okay. Well, I'm going to eat. I'm going to feast my face. That's cool today, Zen. It was great. Okay, what happened? School. <laughs> school <Yeah>. happened. <laughs> Okay, here is the taste testing. This actually tastes just like salt mackerel rundown. Only thing is starfish. Yeah, so let me tell you, when we said food tastes good, food tastes good. So if I never have salt fish run down before, please do try it. It's so good. As in actually over there feeding her face. Cooking on the farm in the country in Jamaica was definitely fun. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it and as, and as much as I enjoyed the food. You'll be seeing more of these type of videos in my Christmas December Vlogmas. So stay tuned and as always, thank you guys so much for watching and thanks for making it Shan Zen Zen. Jamaican vibes. Until next time, walk good and look out for your neighbor. Feed your neighbor too.